Hamifa and I'm here with Dan Ave from 343 Industries and we're here to talk about Halo, the Master Chief Collection. It's kind of a big deal, you might have heard of it. So what inspired you guys to make this collection? So November 11th when we launched the game, uh, November is the 10 year anniversary mm -hmm. of, of Halo 2. But we wanted to do something a little bigger, a little more special. Sure. You know, we've got the Xbox One, we've got a new console. So for the first time, we really wanted to give all of the Master Chief games on the same platform at the same time. But beyond that, we wanted to take it a little farther. So that's where we started getting to things like, well, what if we unlocked everything from the beginning? So when you start the game, we've got this great universal AI that gives you access to all of the games. Everything is completely unlocked mm -hmm. in all four games. So you can kind of move through that experience however you want. So it was really just this fantastic um, evolution of ideas from, hey, let's put it all on one disc, to let's unlock everything, to let's make playlists, and it's just been a blast. It's pretty ambitious, it's, right? It is pretty damn big. And you guys are here showing off a newly reimagined Halo 2 anniversary map. Do you want to take us through that? Yeah, so we're showing off uh, Sanctuary, which is mm -hmm. what the guys are playing behind me. Mm -hmm. uh, quite honestly, my favorite map of the collection. As you can see, it looks great. And um, it plays exactly the same as the original map did 10 years ago. Yep. But what we wanted to do is uh, put in some new graphics and make a few other changes to it. So for example, one of the biggest changes to Sanctuary is the uh, waterfall. So mm -hmm. we put in some dynamic elements okay. where you can shoot out portions around your base and it'll cause water to fall over it, which changes some of your sight lines and changes some of the gameplay. And the map is just beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it's, as, as I said, easily one of my favorites. I mean, it's a completely crazy amount of content. How was that for you guys to work on? Yeah, I mean, you know, you've got all four games. Mm -hmm. You have quite literally every multiplayer map that has ever launched. So that's well north of 100 maps uh, in the entirety of it. You add to that, you know, the new cinematics that mm -hmm. we've done with Blur. It's almost 60 minutes of brand new cinematics mm -hmm. for Halo 2. Yeah. It's just a massive, massive offering. Announcing it was fantastic for us because, you know, we, all, we thought it was cool, but um, getting that feedback from the fans has been great. Same price as a regular game on top of it, so you've got all of this content. What was the best part for you personally, I mean, going back and revisiting all this content? I think the, the two biggest for me, um, one, the cinematics, right, and the ability to switch back and forth yes. in graphics. What's fantastic about that is I like to joke, it's like you're watching gaming evolution happening <laughs> before your eyes because you just hit that button and, you know, the graphics change, one, the audio touch, changes, yeah. everything changes. Um, so that's just a tremendously fun feature for me from a nostalgia point. Hey guys, so now I'm here with Kiki Wolfkill from 343 Industries. Hello. So the Halo Channel is a new digital entertainment network that is going to be the home of all things Halo. Can you give us a little bit of an insight on that? And also, what are we going to see on there? The Halo Channel is sort of a culmination of uh, a lot of things we've wanted to do for years and mm. with Xbox One. Uh, we can finally do it. So we're bringing a bunch of uh, original programming, uh, some of which we've already heard about, such as Halo Nightfall, mm -hmm. which releases with the Master Chief Collection. Uh, but 343 is producing some content. Uh, we're also bringing in uh, a lot of Halo content from okay. over the years, and that's being worked on right now. So it's sort of a, a combination of a place to get all of your programming, but also to experience a lot of different Halo elements together and sort of seamlessly be able to jump from programming into games and back out again. And how will fans be able to get to the channel? The channel is going to be free, and you can get it on Xbox One or on Windows 8 devices. Uh, and so you'll kind of be able to get this programming across any number of different places. That's it from Halo for now, but keep checking back throughout the week because we'll have loads more awesome content all the way from Gamescom 2014.